the Philippine Navy now has a home for its biggest ships after docking its vessels in commercial shipyards for so long. The Navy on Tuesday formally took over part of a strategic shipyard facing the West Philippine Sea as its newest ship BRP Antonio Luna, FF-151, made a symbolic docking at the former facility of South Korea's Hanjin Heavy Industries in Subic Bay, Zambals. It will occupy 100 hectares of the northern portion of the 300-hectare shipyard, now called Aguila Subic, for a lease of around P1 billion a year. The activation and subsequent operation of a naval operating base Subic is in line with the Navy's scaled-up maritime operations to support the needed base services of the deep-draft vessels such as Jose Rizal-class frigates, Del Pilar-class patrol ships and Tarlac-class landing docks, the Navy said in a statement. We have been buying capital ships but we don't have a place to park them. They're at South Harbor, squatting there. But recently, the Navy got the northern part of Hanjin. The Navy is happy because they have a place of their own where they can park their capital ships, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said at the Philippine Navy anniversary last Friday. Capital ships are the Navy's most important warships and are generally larger compared to other members of a fleet. Shorter reaction time, the Navy will also transform its stake in the shipyard as the future headquarters of the Philippine Fleet, Naval Sea Systems Command, Offshore Combat Force and Sea Lift Amphibious Force, which are all currently stationed in Sangli Point, Cavite City. Retired Navy Chief Giovanni Carlo Bacado, who was part of the negotiations for the deal, said the shipyard was in a strategic location due to its proximity to the West Philippine Sea and it has a shorter reaction time going to the Philippine rise. Strategic Play The commercial shipyard operated by South Korea's Hanjin stopped operations in 2019 after defaulting on $1.3 billion in loans, including $400 million due to Philippine banks and $900 million from South Korean lenders. The shipyard, which at the height of its operations employed about 30,000 workers, went into court insolvency proceedings. Perfect opportunity, in June 2019, retired U.S. Navy Captain Brian Buzzell wrote in the U.S. Naval Institute's magazine that Hanjin's financial problems represented a perfect opportunity to return to Subic Bay for the Americans. It also would send a strong message to Beijing that, despite its efforts, the alliance between the United States and the Philippines is strong and unbreakable, he wrote.